What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where I give my initial reactions, my hot takes, and my analysis on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long. I'm a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, and I have been for the last 20 plus years. Today's episode comes straight from the comments section. It is going to be a classic reaction video because I've never heard this band. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard... The only other band that I've heard that's from the Ukraine uh, was the band that was on the Eurovision Song Contest this year. Uh, they were amazing. Uh, she was absolutely frightening. I've had dreams about her. So this will be the second band that I've ever heard from Ukraine. And it is Ginger, obviously, because that's what the title says. And the drummer is Vlad. And I'm not going to try to say his name because I have butchered enough non-English names on this channel and I have taken a vow to not do it anymore. So Vlad, that name. Uh, since I don't know anything about them, there's no reason to do a preamble. The only thing, again, that I know about them are they're from the Ukraine. And I wonder if they've ever, uh, like, toured with the Ukrainian nightmare lady that was on the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, one more thing before getting to the, the, the video. Everybody who's asked me to do the winners of the Eurovision uh, Song Contest. I would love to. I thought they were great, but that video is blocked in America, so I can't do it. I'm waiting for it. If it ever gets uh, unblocked, I will do that because I thought that band was amazing. I mean, everyone knows that Portugal should have won, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, before we get into it, if you all think I deserve it and you think I've done a good job today, please give me a like, give me a comment, give me a share. Uh, I got a Patreon, I got a PayPal, uh, merch table, go check all that out. Let's go check out Vlad and Ginger, and they're going to be playing Perennial. So yeah, the two things I know about this band is they have a female singer. I do know that. And I know that they're from the Ukraine. <laughs> No offense, but is the Slavic drummer wearing track pants? Okay, are those growl vocals coming from a female singer? If so, it's terrifying and amazing. I like that triplet. Okay, uh, first uh, reactions. Okay, obviously he plays open-handed. Uh, I'll use that as a chance to do a little education later on about open-handed playing. This is so European. Like, this is just screams European metal. Uh, and it probably screams European metal because it sounds so alien to my ears. You know, we don't really have any... I don't know, what, I don't know how to explain it. There's just something... Like, when you hear Gojira... Even though they're speaking, you know, singing in English, there's just something that you can't touch about it that just that makes it not American. I don't, I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. He's using all K's, which is kind of cool. Not too many metal drummers use K's because they have the uh, reputation of not being very loud or as loud as like Z's or A customs or A's. Um, I like it so far. talk about that that's something i get talked uh, asked about a lot the age old debate of whether to bury the beater or not bury the beater and like most answers when it when uh, when it's the binary like that is, is, is it this or this the answer usually is yes you want to be able to do both when you're playing loud volume like this it's completely okay to bury that beater um, 
And it actually helps with uh, deadening the sound. You know, traditionally, if you're playing a heavier music, you are, uh, you know, playing a more thuddier, deeper, deeper sound, deeper, deep, deeper, deeper sound. And it helps with that. Now, if you're playing a low volume and you want to get the bass drum, if your bass drum is tuned uh, to be able to get it, to get like a more resonant, uh, uh, you know, less of a thud and more of a rounded like what I call like a big tom sound, then you do want to let that uh, bass drum pedal hit and and then release and allow that head to to vibrate. Uh, the answer is yes. You want to be able to do both with this style of music. Man, bury that motherfucker because it's not. You're not going to hear the 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 simple resonance of a bass drum with the beater uh, coming right off after the attack because the band is loud as hell. Yeah, he's burying the shit out of that. That's okay. Yeah, the vocal melodies just scream a European metal band. Is it because y'all didn't like grow up with like a like a blues tradition? Is that why? <laughs> Man, if that's her doing the growls. Only time I've ever heard another, only times I've ever heard like another female vocalist growl like that is like I wrestled a bear once. I love that triplet move. Okay, so let's do a little education here. Uh, Mr. Vlad, and you know how much we love bald drummers around here. Um, actually, if I shave my beard into more like what he's got i probably look a lot like this cat he's playing open-handed and which means he's probably left-handed but man lately a lot of people have just been making the decision to play open-handed i uh, firmly believe even though i am a traditional uh player i think that it's the the 21st century way to play the drum set you know this it's kind of antiquated when you play open-handed like that you're just you're you're able to move around the drum set so much easier. Now, he doesn't have a lot of drum set to move around on because he doesn't even have, like, a top tom. He has a snare drum, two floor toms. For all you metal drummers out there who thinks that you need to, you know, back up the truck and unload 50,000 toms, man, not really if you know what to do with them. Even if you are a traditional, uh, not, not, not traditional, but, like, a, a typical, uh, you know, crossover drummer, I always... Uh, prescribe to my students to practice this way you know whatever groove you can play this way learn how to play it that way and it will strengthen your non-dominant hand now I don't know he's probably left-handed but if he's right-handed that means that his hands are very close to ambidextrous is ambidextrous if he's able to you know be right-handed and lead with his left hand like that if you are a typical turn crossover drummer learn all of your beats this way it'll also strengthen the relationship between your left hand and your right foot it's great it's a it's a great practice routine even if you never perform that way practice that way and you will not believe how much better this stuff makes it it's got a real laid back style he's got the sticks turned backwards which means he's not getting a lot of response off the drumstick yeah this guy's probably the most the drummer that I most look like that we've had on the channel <laughs> Did he just wink at me he just winked at the camera now, because he's got that laptop behind him, I would guess that he is playing with a metronome. And if you can tell, he's laying back here. You know, we're in halftime. But he's behind the beat a lot. So this, I know this will make me sound American, this kind of sounds like Evanescence. Yeah. 
Even though we all play the same notes, and the same note system, and the same rhythms, there's just something about European metal. You can just you just know it is without even knowing it. Man, if that's her, that's insane. That's something that before this gets out, I really like about what he's doing. Uh, because he doesn't have any toms, he can have his cymbals way low, and and his efficiency of moving around the drum set. Ha, you can see the jacket of his uh, tracksuit <laughs> behind him. <laughs> um, but his cymbals are really low, and he doesn't have. And now you know you see he's up here, but that's for show. You know that's uh, it's okay to have some histrionics. It's okay. Remember, you're performing. You are performing, so it's okay to do some of that stuff. And it might be just the his natural uh, vibe to do what he's you know do that right there. But those all the cymbals are way low, and and when he's playing, it's just so easy. Just everything's just right there. Really efficient uh, setup. It's a cool pattern. Okay, Vlad from Ginger playing Perennial. Uh, yeah, um, that dude had a really uh, a relaxed attack on the drum set. He was really just letting the microphones do the work. If you watched the uh, Mastodon video, I talked about that. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see when you see like local band metal drummers play, they overdo it. They're in like a small little club, and you know it's like 200 seat club, and they're just bashing the shit out of their stuff. And you see them get gassed by like the fourth song. This is, you know, obviously this drummer here knows what's up. Uh, you know, not overdoing it, just letting the the microphones and the sticks do their work. Uh, it showed a lot of different styles. Um, it was like nothing really came out, and 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 hit me real like real drummy but it was just like really serving the song really well uh you know you tell vlad is a bad bad boy uh a lot of different feels lots of different styles and the big thing to think about here you know he's doing you know uh, you know he was he started out playing a skank beat and then ended up in a halftime groove and that metronome was there that whole time. It's so easy, uh, you know, the more notes you play, you want to speed up, the less notes you play, you want to slow down. And, you know, obviously this guy's got the ass shit all day. Uh, so, uh, Vlad, the, you know what? I like this band, but I don't like them more than the Ukrainian band from the Eurovision Song Contest, but I will say that. Uh, but yeah, if y'all enjoyed all that, please give me a like, comment, and share. Remember, open-handed playing that's a thing you should do go right now if you've never done it before it's going to be kind of a weird coordination thing to, to, to at first but it will strengthen your left hand and you know we're all trying to be as ambidextrous as possible and that is one way to get there so if you want to get there keep practicing until it's easy